Shall we begin? Right, uh, I was just about to do some spraying and I thought I haven't done nothing on the Bofors gun so I thought I'd do a little bit of a video for you just to show uh, what damage I've repaired because I've repaired a lot of it because I was just after my last little update I just cracked into it and started repairing and I didn't take no pictures or any videos so you're going to have to just bear with me. Right, uh, I'll move the camera. As you can see, we've got a gun back we'll stick the outside. Yeah, I'll explain that to you in a very few seconds. Right, we'll get in there. Uh, as long as it focuses. Right. Now, when the giant roll of tape hit, it smashed. Uh, the, the barrel was facing this way and it hit this end. Now this section here I've repaired and I'll, I'll go around, I'll just, I'll just show you what I've repaired. Well I've repaired all this yeah now this side was gone uh, it totally, I just can't find it. I've hoovered, swept up and it's just one of them things the carpet monster has, has got it so I'm gonna ha I'm trying to make up uh, a section like this with the supports on. Uh, this is the barrel that got snapped off and bent, and I'm recycling that because it's got this uh, ridge on here, which matches that side. I've already found one piece in the kit. I've got quite a few bits and pieces I can be using. Uh, to make this top uh, lock support, uh, I'm gonna have to make a nut. Probably make it out of a little bit of hexagon uh, styrene. Then the next problem is I've got to cut this down to about here, and then make this bit up. I found these bits, uh, these four support arms. I found them, but the actual shaft itself it just disappeared. So that's what I'll be doing there is repairing that. Uh, for the simple reason is I'll bring the camera back out a little bit and I shall explain my cunning plan. Right. My cunning plan is to do is when the gun is on the bridge uh, I am going to do this as if this wheel has been clipped at some point and as they're going over the bridge all the supports are given way and the wheels twisted and brought everything to a grinding halt on the bridge. Now. I've repaired that one and I've also repaired this one but I've pushed that one the suspension down and kept the suspension up to give it that little bit of a slight angle because uh, if this wheel had come off or you know punctured and flattened and whatever and been dragged in and twisted around like that this will all be sat at an angle correct me if I'm wrong. So that's roughly what it will look like but you know connected to the gun tractor. Now I'm going to have to lift the camera back up again. Here's the poor little gun. No well it's not poor. I'm, I'm happy with it because I've repaired the bulk of it. I've just got lots of bits and pieces now to stick back on. When, and I've done a pretty good repair job on this actually, when this bit here, this barrel got, it snapped off just inside there, so the barrel came out and got bent 
and at the same time it opened this hole as you can see I've, I've, I've tried my best to get it back together again but it opened the whole lot up and it made it very easy just for me to remove the inner bit and luckily there were spare barrels in the kit so I just replaced the barrel with a, a new barrel put the spring in and closed this all up uh, and that was it but it has left this rather it don't want to move or anything like that uh, but I think I can manipulate it up somehow just enough because I want it in transit like so so it will have the uh, gun support here I think I can just get that up enough just to get the gun support in and then with the damaged wheel and the vehicles all stopped on the bridge resolves a lot of problems for me for A because I've got invisible drivers according to my mate John so I can have the vehicles stopped and then I can have the drivers I can open, get the doors open and have the drivers on the foot plates or whatever I've ordered some figures uh, to actually be here I'll pull back a little bit so I've got some uh, figures here there's one actually they're the engineers uh, are doing mine clearance but uh, one of the figures is is he's kneeling down I think I can use him as uh, probably put a spanner in his hand or something and another one he's digging but I think I can put like a crowbar so he's sort of like uh, levering it up or something like that but I can work I think I can work the figures to actually look like they're trying to fix this and the other figures I've ordered are uh, they're the tank riders but I think I can use some of them i.e. for sitting in, in the lorry with their feet out looking like they're waiting on the bridge and that's it that's my cunning plan so I should do a few more clips because I'll get this all finished off and I'll, uh, cause I'll put this out before I do the final reveal on it so that is my cunning plan so uh, Mr Moore can't say that uh, I've got invisible drivers and a lot of people have actually said to be quite honest a lot of people have said you know the vehicles would look better with drivers and I do agree with them but I weren't doing the figure painting when I started these and I sealed them all up before I had a chance to put figures in but now I'm doing the figure painting I'm quite happy to actually do a few figures uh, to go around here and on the lorry and things like that so all in all I think my cunning plan will work so stay tuned and the next clip hopefully you'll see this complete and uh, then we'll get on to spraying it and we'll get on to getting this diorama finished right just a few photographs uh, just me making this uh, suspension assembly up it was a pain in the neck to do uh, took me quite a few hours but I got there in the end and it all went together nicely so I shall leave you the photographs and let you watch the rest of the video and the next little bit of update
Right, we're back. She's back together. We're just about to go into paint. So I'm going to give her a prime. Uh, we'll go around her from the ashes to the phoenix rise, they say, didn't they? I had to glue everything down. The whole lot had to be glued. Uh, it's a shame, but the only thing that works on it now is the is the uh, legs, but uh, which won't be used. But uh, as you can see, she's got a nice tilt to her to one side, which I wanted. Uh, I had to go back to the Mark One uh, gun sights because the other ones they got crushed, destroyed. So there's no point going into that. But I'm quite happy. I'm pleased the way she's turned out. But like I say, everything had to be glued and fixed and stuck down. But she still looks pretty good. Uh, rebuilt all the uh, front suspension, as you saw by the uh, photographs just before this. Uh, so she's okay to go into paint. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to straighten that chair up because that will annoy the shit out of me. But uh, all in all, I'm quite happy now. So we're going to put her into paint and then we're going to get this diorama finished. I shall uh, get some weathering done on it and I shall do a final reveal on it uh, probably, what's today, Friday, probably Monday or Tuesday, somewhere like that. I'll get it weathered up and everything else. Hopefully I'll get me uh, the soldiers, the figures, so I can get on with them and uh, then this diorama will be completed and uh, we move on to the next project right I'm going to take her into spray and uh, I'll see you in a little while right final clip she's a beautiful it's almost pink isn't it <laughs> ah, it's AK's red but uh, it's uh, got like a pink uh, overtone for me, but there you go, she's uh, had a coat of uh, primer and uh, I shall give it a few minutes and I shall give her another light dusting over, there's a few bits there I can see I've missed. So that's it for this, next time you'll see her she should be in her uh, nice, uh, what is it? olive drab and a bit of weathering and hopefully with some men attending to her so thanks ever so much for joining me